Hey Mike, it's John again. I have something for you special. The old M60 tank. Yeah, they are actually going to uh, revitalize this. They're actually sending a bunch to Taiwan in 2020. Uh, Raytheon is going to upgrade it with a uh, 120 millimeter smoothbore cannon like the one that's on the Abrams. Uh, what else are they going to do? Oh, they'll probably put reactive armor on it. But uh, considering it's not much different than the M48, uh, it's amazing they're still using it. It's um, old technology. Actually, the, with the new Raytheon model, the one that they're sending to Taiwan, actually going to have a 200 more uh, horsepower uh, more engine coming out of the engine. So that'll help it. In case they'll replace this, uh, replace the 105 with the 120. Uh, but yeah, to, to, to think that it was, you know, really the 1948 and they're revamping them and they're going to send them to the Taiwanese are going to use them and that's going to be their main battle tank. It's just amazing it's had that kind of life, life to it. Anyways, we're here at the uh, Miramar uh, Museum. So there's a bunch to actually see here. Actually, they have some... Um, personnel carriers, Russian personnel carriers down there and a lot of planes, but hopefully I'll get some more more video here going in a minute. So here are the two uh, Russian troop transports, I think. No, there's no signs here, so but I think this is a BMP-2. Um, amphibious, both of these I believe are amphibious. Uh, well, at least this one for sure. Uh, not so sure on this one. Um, this one has that Russian uh, large machine gun. But the troop doors in the back are tiny, tiny, tiny things. Um, yeah, getting in and out of those would be uh, a bit. But, of course, you want to get out rear. You know, you don't want to get out in the front because that's facing the enemy. But uh, pretty cool. It's got to be very cramped in there, though, uh, even sitting down. It's, I don't know if there's anything to be seen in any of this. No. But, again, yeah, it has... Two doors back here for the troops to get in and out and both these are Russian models so oh yeah because they have road wheels yep all right well have to see what else we see today well what a treat yeah, there's an actual museum here Mike I mean an actual museum so a lot of information gift shop lots of things to see here I did not expect this this is gonna be great so I'm gonna go through this and then we'll get more food outside. This this museum is quite incredible. I mean like canine section for the Marines, but uh, this face kind of tells it all right there. It's like, oh please don't hurt me. I know we're just training, but please don't bite me. Uh, it's a wonderful museum. It's got a lot of stuff in here. So, um, But we'll get the outside and see more planes in a bit. Well, I, I hope the video gets this. Um, these are Vietnamese bombs that were made. And they used like discarded cans that they probably got from, you know, found in the field, but were able to make um, bombs and grenades with stuff they found. Some interesting weapons, the M1 Garand there on the far left, and an AK-47 and an M1 carbine RPG rocket. Oh, and this, check that out, that is a homemade pistol. Um, again, like the sign says, probably not something you'd want to fire, but someone made it. That's... Yeah, well, big Vietnamese again, Viet Cong, so pretty cool. Okay, we're coming up on a Phantom, and this one is it seems to be in really good shape. Right there, F-4 Phantom. Beautiful, beautiful aircraft. Yeah, we're on the outside now, out coming out of the museum. Not as many planes as I thought there were, but it's still pretty good uh, pretty good assortment of uh, planes so we're continuing okay here we are at some anti-aircraft I'm not sure if those are it's a quad 50 or if it's something bigger than that I don't they don't have any display signs here I don't think it's a 20 millimeter could be I think that's too too small not sure but they are anti-aircraft it looks like I 
Okay, this will be the last part of the video. We're getting to the helicopters and it's a pretty short section. Uh, coming up to the, the Huey. What is it, a U U1H1 or something like that? Uh, forget the number of it. It is, it says UN or UH1N, okay. Yeah, very popular. Oh, and look at the Cobra. Mm, very cool. Well, this is the Air Museum at Miramar. It's actually much more than I thought. And I uh, hope everything is well with the family there. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.